before we start, uh, this is future Pat here, I've already filmed this video, I'm actually doing this challenge with you. So I'm going to film every snippet, every little thing that I say that I'm asking you to do, I'm going to do myself, uh, and then I'm going to show you what that looks like next week. So if you want to take the challenge with me, definitely do that. Alright, future Pat, be gone, enjoy the video. It's Pat from Bad Dev Music. Thank you for joining me for another video. Oh, acoustics, so nice. It's been a little bit of a while since I've really sat down and played with one and I've really been enjoying it today. Are you playing mostly electric? Are you playing mostly acoustic? Leave a comment and let me know below. So, great to see you. So, if you're brand new and you're just finding me for the first time, I'm Pat. We make music lessons here. Nice to meet you. If you've been returning for a little while, great to see you again. So, hey, what a crazy year it's been. So I thought this would be a nice sort of thing for us both to sort of do, is let's practice guitar together. So seven days in a week, I've got seven different ideas. So the idea is you can start today, or you can start tomorrow, and I'll give you seven different uh, tips, I suppose, or seven different things to practice, and I'll give you a video for each one. So you don't have to second guess, you don't have to pick up your guitar tomorrow and think, what did Pat Say again, all the links are in below. So I've got an idea for Monday, Tuesday, of course, swap the ideas around if you want, but there's seven completely different ideas there. So we're gonna go through those today, but hey, uh, very, very lucky for me. I had a few days off, normally sort of teaching, sort of nine to five sort of thing. And I don't know if you can see by my shirt, there's little uh, <laughs> tropical palm trees there. Uh, so I hope that you're okay. I hope that you're safe and your family is okay as well. And hey, I'm not just some virtual, you know, pitcher or whatever, I'm here. So if you are having a hard time and you want to talk, hit me up on my Instagram or my, my Facebook. I get messages there daily. I always look forward to hearing from you. But hey, otherwise, let's get into those seven different practice ideas. Idea number one, learn a riff. I know, shocking, groundbreaking. <laughs> but the idea is there's 400 riffs on this channel or maybe you want to head to another channel. Just learn part of a song, even if it's just the intro, even if it's just... just a little part of a song, it'll still mean that you need to pick up that guitar to learn it, you need to tune up your guitar, and you need to have a bit of fun, and you've learned that little bit of a song, great. That's what music is all about, it's what any art form is about really, just chipping away and learning a little bit every day. So, learn a riff, uh, the link is to a hundred of my riffs, but of course, head on to any other channel, just learn a part of a song. If you're learning a really difficult song, uh, like Thunderstrike, just learn like the first two notes. First three notes there, but just start off, just learn a tiny bit of a song, it'll inspire you to pick up your guitar and to learn more and to come back to the next day. That's idea number one. Number two, okay, number two is learn a new chord. Now, when I say new chord, I mean a chord that you haven't played before. This is brand new for you. Maybe that's gonna mean learning a bar chord, like a full bar chord shape like this. If so, that's the video that I've linked in the description below. So learn a bar chord, challenge yourself. In that video, I've got different tips to how to build up to a bar chord, so you're not just starting and your hand's gonna fall off. That's the next idea, okay. So that was idea number two, learn a new chord. And with that video, learn a bar chord. Five, 10 minutes, sit down and learn a new chord. You can do it, that's our idea for Tuesday. Wednesday, Wednesday's a little bit trickier. We're halfway sort of through the working week. Learn a full song. If you haven't learned a full song before, hey, that's cool, I'm gonna link one below. It's that Bob Marley song, Three Little Birds. It's only three chords and the entire song is there. So if you've never learned a full song before, that's heaps of fun and it's a good one to start with. Learn a full song. Now, if you're not sure about that song and you wanna learn something else, maybe try and learn a chord progression, meaning lots of songs have like four chords in a row if they're a pop, pop song. Like it might be like C, A minor, D minor, G. Great, we've learned a song. Sounds like a million pop songs, right? You've just learned a song, great. 
So either learn that Bob Marley song or find another pop song to learn that just has four chords. Have a bit of fun, that's your Wednesday idea. Okay, your next idea for Thursday is solo. So that song that you've learned, that Bob Marley one, there's a solo backing track that I've got. Try and learn how to solo over that. So you've got some chords going in the background. Just practice playing some notes over that chord progression or just type into YouTube backing track. Heaps will come up practice soloing. Rather than just sort of shredding and learning some chords and learning other people's songs, just try and stretch yourself and use your musical ear. Try and just play a chord and hear how it sounds. Try and just see how those notes react and work with each other over some chords. Practice soloing, that's your idea for Thursday. Ideas for Friday. Friday is, it's not fun Friday, unfortunately. <laughs> it is theory, okay? Now there is so much theory to know, I'm gonna link the grade one playlist, which has 100 videos. I'm not saying I want you to watch 100, no, you'd, you'd fall asleep. What I'm saying is just have a look, and as soon as you see some theory that interests you, click it and check it out. Now that might be theory about different rhythms. might be different rhythms. It might be theory as to, all right, well, how do I take the notes on the guitar and write them down on a piece of paper? Awesome theory to know. It might be, all right, why was that scale a major scale? How did that work? Why is that same scale? How can I move this shape up? How do I understand that? Friday, learn a little bit of theory. So good to know just a tiny bit of theory. Start writing a song by Roman, Roman numerals. Um, there's heaps of things to do. So Friday, learn a little bit of theory. Next idea is learn the notes on the neck. Do you know all of the notes on the thickest string? Do you know the next string down? 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 Do you know all of the notes on all of the strings? Meaning E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. No? If not, check out that video. Just spend five minutes on it. You'll understand the guitar a little bit better and you'll start, sort of stop learning by shapes and understand what notes are under your fingertips. That's your idea. And finally, Sunday, the last idea for the week. It's been seven different ideas. The last one for the week, practice chords that you do know. Now, why is that a big deal? All right, well, you might be able to play, let's say, a G chord really well. Great. What about you try and play a D minor? Doesn't sound quite right, does it? Spend the time, just spend five minutes. Until not only you can get it sounding nice, but you can change from a chord you know really well into a chord that you maybe need a little bit more practice. Or even just practice put, taking your fingers on and off, practice playing the chord without looking, practice playing the chord standing up. Whatever it is, take something you already know and try and make it even better. That's your final idea for Sunday. So there you go. What did you think? Seven days of the week, seven different practice ideas, and here's the biggest takeaway for this entire video. Am I asking a lot of you? Definitely. Is there a chance that not anyone will practice for seven days a week? Yeah, definitely. But imagine if you practiced for three days a week. Or imagine if you practiced for four days a week. Is that four more times than you would normally practice? Maybe there's been a few weeks where you've never practiced, hey? So even if you just practice once or twice this week, that still might be twice more than you would normally. So anything is a win. So you don't have to practice seven days a week. I mean, amazing if you do. But even just take a few of those different ideas and say to yourself, I'm gonna practice Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, whatever. Three times of completely different practice uh, means that you're progressing in three different areas, which is the best. So, if you wanna take my challenge, leave a comment below and say, Pat, I'm taking your challenge, or give me a thumbs up or something like that. But otherwise, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I'm actually gonna do this challenge uh, and I'm going to be doing this with different instruments and I'm going to be playing every single day. I'll record a little bit and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end of next week. So thank you so much for making it to the end of the video and I'll see you all again very, very soon.